Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're ready today because we have an awesome DIY project in store. Now today we're gonna tackle some crushed glass canisters. You're gonna absolutely love this guys. This is an item that is very versatile. You'll be able to use this in any area of your home, the bedroom, um, your restroom, your living room, you know, anywhere that you wanna place these canisters, they will add that extra appeal to it. Now guys, all the items that you see here, I got from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Michaels, and Target. So once again, these items are readily available. You don't have to search all around town. You can just go to your local store. All right, well, I'm ready to do this. You know my glue gun is always heating up. I don't think it gets a break. I really don't, but it's always heating up, and I am ready to do this, guys. I'm ready to go. So if you're ready, I'm ready, and as I always say, let's do this. All right, my lovelies, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just show you the items that we're going to use for our DIY project. These are two items that I got from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, this is like a little glass candy bowl um, that you find at the Dollar Tree. Now, we're just going to use the lid for this. Um, we're going to save the bottom portion. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the lid on top of our canister, as you can see. Um, push that in, and it is a perfect fit, guys. All right, now you can actually use this without blinging it out. I mean, if you just wanted to do a canister itself, you can uh, use this concept as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my painter's tape and I am just going to go up and down with the painter's tape um, and then we will go ahead and we will bling it out. Now, let me show you here. I just wanna go step by step because I just wanna make sure you get this. Just tear a piece of the tape off and you just go ahead and you will place it on the glass itself now once again you can do any design i am just going to go up and down with this but you can do any design and once i place that on there make sure you have it tight because we don't want any of the crushed glass to get through um, on that part and then i'm just going to go around on my glass and i'm just going to continue to uh, put strips of tape all right guys all right well let's go ahead and do this and then we'll go to our next step let's do this All right, my lovelies, we have finished this portion. Now, let me just go over this with you. As you can see, that one turned out really nice. Now, I did a few off camera because I just wanted to give you a few different ideas so you can see that this is versatile. I did one vertically, one horizontally, and then I did this one sort of like slanted, I guess you can say. Um, I just wanted to show you um, the different um, things that you can do with the painter's tape. Now, if you wanted to do one side filled with crushed glass, the other side clear, that will work out perfectly perfectly as well too here is the crushed glass let me go ahead and show you um, the glass that we're going to use and once again I got this from Michaels they have all different colors so you can play with this um, this is something that's really versatile now what we're going to do is we're going to put our Mod Podge onto the clear part of our glass once we do that then we will sprinkle our crushed glass onto that and then we will let it sit um, and that would what gives us that beautiful effect all right guys well let's do this
right, my lovelies, I have added our crushed glass onto our vase containers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the lid itself. Now, we're gonna put it just at the very top because you do have to remember, um, this is something that you'll be grabbing constantly to open. So we don't want it, that to interfere with the, um, the crushed glasses on top. And of course, we don't wanna have any accidents as well. All right, so we're gonna put a little uh, Mod Podge on the very top of this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my crushed glass on this I'll go ahead and just sprinkle it on and I'll go ahead and show you here really easy guys really quick and simple all right so we'll go ahead and put that on and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sit that aside make sure that you um, get all that around if you have any glue or anything lingering on the side make sure you wipe that off because you don't want it to be on the side you just want the crushed glass to be directly on top of the lid itself all right guys well, we'll go ahead and we'll let that dry we'll let the canisters dry and then we'll go ahead and then we will remove our tape all right guys let's do this all right, my lovelies, we have set the lid aside. Now we're gonna go ahead and tackle the canisters itself. Okay, so they're completely dry. I think I let them sit for about a couple of hours. Um, it's probably best to let them sit just a little longer. I was sort of rushed for time because I wanted to get the video out, but um, if you wanna let it sit overnight, you can do that as well. It probably would be best that way. You'll know for sure that um, the crushed glass is like really uh, stuck to the container itself all right so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to remove the tape here and as you can see it's really really easy that's why i like using the painter's tape um you don't have to fight with it or anything you just go ahead and pull that off of course i said that and i am fighting with this one but normally it's pretty easy you guys so i'm just going to go ahead i'll remove this i'll let you see here um i just don't have a good grip okay I got a good grip now. All right, now as you can see, just went on and I just pulled that off there and you can see how that looks perfect. Um, it lined up just how it was supposed to. Um, no glass went into the clear part itself, so that looks really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna remove the rest of these so you can get the idea of this and and just see how beautiful this is going to be when we complete it. I'll go ahead and take the tape off the rest of them as well. All right, guys, let's go. Alright my lovelies, I have removed all the tape and this is looking really, really good. Now I did want to just go over one thing with you. I removed the tape but I noticed when I was actually checking everything out, some of the spots look very, very bare. So what I did is I took uh, my brush, my my brush that I used to put the Mod Podge on and I went and I just dabbed the areas that needed a little extra bling so just take your brush um, just fill in those areas pour some more crushed glass over it let it sit for a little bit and then that way um, it can even out so you won't have like one row that's really full and one row that's sort of half full one row that's barely full um, you'll have that even effect all the way around all right guys well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead to the next step which is our lid all right guys here is the lid and it came out really really well it's been sitting for a minute now as you can see i don't have any crushed glass on the side because we're gonna actually put a um i have some bling ribbon that i'm gonna put around the side but the top looks really really well and it's very firm on there too so let's go ahead and go to the next step and add our bling ribbon now let me show you this once again before we get to the bling ribbon part um as you can see i did add my um extra glass in there and it's looking really really full and i like that so we're going to go ahead and set that aside we're going to go ahead and tackle the lid now 
Okay, guys, <laughs> the lid itself, um, like I said, this actually belonged to another um, jar that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I noticed that the plastic on it was like really hanging off. It just didn't look right. It was a little raggedy there. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to trim it up, cut it, um, the extra, I guess you can say plastic off of the lid itself just to make it look a little bit more presentable. All right, guys, so I got that done okay so looking good there that looks a little bit more presentable and it fits perfect and you don't have that plastic showing through itself all right guys so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna add my bling ribbon now i got this from amazon.com and i'm absolutely in love with it this is so so elegant it's like bling on a ribbon and it is really great so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add this around the lid itself you know so i have the crushed glass on the top and i'll add the bling ribbon on the side all right guys let's go Alright my lovelies, we're at the end of the video, but before we get to our final setup, I just want to go over a few things with you. Now, as I said, make sure if you have any parts that are sort of bare, not enough crushed glass, just dab on some extra Mod Podge, pour a little bit more crushed glass over it to give it that fuller effect. Also guys, I'm going to get this cleaned up. We're going to just put some Windex on them, make them shine a little bit. I'm going to add all of my items and we will have a beautiful setup. You're going to absolutely love it. Let's do this. All right, my lovelies, we've made it to the end once again to another beautiful creation. Here are Creations by Simone, where we create beauty one creation at a time. All right, guys, the DIY crushed glass bling canisters turned out awesome, and I am so loving them. I hope you are as well. Now, these canisters are so versatile. You can use them in any area of your home. I'm actually going to put them in my bedroom, and I'm going to put some of my vanity items in them. But, yeah, you can use them in the kitchen. Um, you can use them in your living room dining room wherever you want to give that added extra touch well i hope you like this guys um this project was really nice and i just have so many more that i'm going to do with the crushed glass so be on the lookout with that i have a christmas in july video coming up so really be on the lookout for that because that's going to be awesome i also have one of my subscribers she has asked me to do a wedding centerpiece for her to give her some ideals so i'm going to tackle that as well we have a lot coming up here in creations by simone so i hope you stay tuned don't forget if you love the channel guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up also like share and subscribe to all my new subscribers i love you and i see you and i thank you from the bottom of my heart for your love and your support all right guys well i will see you soon here for another creation here are creations by simone Simone. Bye.